on to it. Hold on to it. I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> you guys, so I have an empties video for you. So I'm going to be able to talk to you about the different things that I have here. All my trash. So um, I kind of had everything in this bag, but it was kind of overflowing and it kind of spilled all over the place. I didn't have everything in the bag. Wait till you see how much I have. You, you, you're going to know it didn't fit in this bag. Anyway, let me start out with what's in this bag because in here is makeup stuff. So I'm pretty sure you're, you're going to be kind of interested in that. Um, so the first thing that I have here is from Billion Dollar Brows. Um, I got this from um, a prize mail and I also got, I got it from, I, I did a, a blog review on a set. I can't remember what it is exactly, but it had like a highlighter, it had this, and it had something else in there. And uh, I think it was like a brow gel. And I really loved this eyebrow pencil. I mean, I used it all the way to the very end. I actually have the other box that I have not opened because I did want to put it in a giveaway. I just don't know what I did with it. I can't find it. So I did want to give it in a giveaway, but I was so tempted to keep it and use the brow pencil because I liked it so much and it's got a little spoolie on the other end which is a plus so if I find it ah, I'll put it in a giveaway I won't keep it for myself I have a lot of other things I guess so be on the lookout for that one day when I find it uh, next is from macadamia um, healing oil treatment I have a few bottles of this I think they go for like nine dollars at Ulta this little tiny bottle this is awesome it smells so amazing ah, it smells so good I love this scent and I love this oil for my hair it does wonders for my hair I really love it um, people always say how do I get my hair so shiny and not so healthy I think it was from this I can say that Next is from Physician's Formula. This is the brown one. I really, I normally use the black one and I like it a lot. This is the brown one. It's okay. I'm, this one's, it still has some, some color in it, but it's kind of like iffy on and off. It kind of worked, it kind of didn't work, it kind of worked and kind of didn't work. Um, it's, I didn't like this one as much as I liked the black one. I can say that. However, I do have a black one that I'm working on and I think I had it too long and it was kind of dried out and it wasn't doing what I expected it to do. So it was a little bit disappointing. Um, I don't think it's in here, but it'll probably be in here soon because I'm getting really aggravated with it. But normally those are like the Physician Formula liners. These are like my favorites. This is called the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. And oh man, this one is the one in black. This is the one I got aggravated with. I thought this was the brown one. It says black on it. So yeah, I got rid of this. I had this for a very short time. My other one that I had, I had for like, I swear, it seemed like a year and it was still perfect. It was great. This one, not so much. Next is a little tiny sample of How About Them Apples. I think I got this in a birch box, I wouldn't say. Um, and this one was in the color pie. Um, I really like this one a lot. I know people are kind of iffy about this. If they like it, they don't like it. I wanted to get the full size one. I saw very mixed reviews on it. So I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know if I want to get it. I might, I might not. I liked it for my lips. Um, it's kind of a little bit drying, but I really like how it stains the lips a lot. So I might go ahead and get the full size. It's got the six colors in there. Um, I have a a gift card to Ulta to use. I'm trying to hoard on, hoard on to it. Hold on to it. I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Hold on to it for like some kind of big sale that they're gonna have, or maybe the holidays or something like that. But I really like that. Next, what I have in here, this is the BH Liquid Liner. I didn't use this very long. I wasn't very impressed. Um, I didn't like the tip. It was kind of a larger tip. It was larger and it kind of was like you had to work at it like it'll be like very bold sometimes and then it kind of like a drying out kind of a thing and I didn't like that so I'm gonna get rid of that I just figured I have too many things for me to have to even worry about messing with that I mean sometimes you'd get a perfect line on one half and then towards the end it'll be like skipping and I don't like that so um, next I have this Neutrogena, Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm I got this such a long time ago it's a unique shape it's kind of like a, an oval shape and I have a lot left but it's just gone past its time. I don't think I should even, I think it's probably rancid or something. I don't know. I've had it so long I, I think it's time to get rid of it. Next I have this um, time in a bottle sample from Philosophy. 
um, I couldn't remember if it was good or if it was not good. It's just, I know people say a lot of great things. Maybe the sample was just so small, it was kind of forgettable. I don't know. It When I used it, it didn't make me say, oh, I need to get it. So that is that. Next is this L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Color Vibrancy Nourishing Conditioner. I used to not like L'Oreal products for my hair. I thought they were kind of mediocre and just, you know, it's a shampoo, it's a conditioner, whatever. But this one, super silky hair. I mean, this is a good conditioner. This is almost like a mask. This is really, really good. You have to put a whole glop on and leave it in for a few minutes, but you're gonna have your hair's gonna feel so awesome. Next is this. What is this? Pearl Sense Renews It Pearl Sense in Blue Sky Breeze. It's just got like these little beads on the inside. You can see it, this whole thing was filled all the way up and they kind of shrunk down to nothing. They kind of dry out and it's got a little bit of the liquid left on the inside, but it's a, it doesn't really smell anymore. I can smell it if I stick my nose right up to it, but if I don't have my nose in it, eh, it doesn't really smell. So time to get rid of that. And I got this from Purex Insiders. I did a review on it. Next is from Tame the Beast. This is Beard, Hair, and Body Wash for Men. I got this um, from an Amazon review. I personally love the scent for my guy. So, I mean, let me see here. Yeah, I really like this a lot. It's kind of costly, so it's not probably not worth it to buy a full size of this. It's a 12 fluid ounce bottle, but I can tell you what, I loved this scent. Next is from Soft Soap. This is the Fresh and Glow Exfoliating Fruit Polish. Um, this was just meh. It was just okay. I like the blue one better, a lot better. This one was just okay. I didn't care for the scent too much. Yeah, it's just okay. I wouldn't, if I had a choice to buy Soft Soap for couponing, I definitely wouldn't choose the orange one. Next is this um, Glycolic Plus New Soap Cleanser. I got this a long, long, long time ago to do a review, and I got this through Thomason, I believe. Um, this is like one of those natural cleansers for your face. It kind of has that um, kind of uh, medicinal, not medicinal, kind of like a natural scent, and um, that's why I had it for so long. It worked really, really well, but the scent was really yucky. I didn't really like the scent too much, so I finally used it up. And um, like I said, while it worked really well, uh, I'm just glad to get rid of it. Next is from Clairol Natural Instincts. This is, let me see, is this the one? No. Um, normally, I really love the deep conditioning um, conditioners that come in hair dyes and things like this. But this one from Natural Instincts was just like mediocre. It wasn't all that. Um, I if they sold this individually i definitely wouldn't want to buy it it just kind of was like a, a blase kind of a conditioner not deep conditioning at all next is from olay fresh outlast i either got this in the target or walmart beauty box or even a pinch me box um and it was okay it was yeah strong strong fruity scent um it was nice it was just nice now this, on the other hand, this is from Superior Preference, the Mousse Absolute. This conditioner was awesome. This one was really, really good. And I'm gonna show you the box in one second because I finished off the hair dye. Um, but this one was really, really good. Oh, I have another macadamia. So that was two of them. Um, and then I have the CBS Age Defy Defying Towelettes for your face. Um, I really like these. These were really nice. I like the CVS brand wipes. They're really nice and they feel really good on the skin and they cleanse very, very well. And they're very moist. Um, last thing, and this is the best thing I have to say. This is the L'Oreal Paris Superior Preference Mousse Abs Absolute. Um, for those of you that have asked me about my hair color, I have to do it again because I'm got, I've got grays. I need to retouch up my hair. But this is the one that I get. This is the 556. This one's in... What color? What color are you? Medium mahogany brown. This is the red that I have dyed my hair with. Now this comes like this. And what you're supposed to do, it's a little pump right here. You shake it up really, really good. And then you just press this button. And if you, you may or you may not have some left over after you do your, your, your hair dye, 
Um, I had a little bit left over, so I was able to do a touch up later on on my roots. Um, but this thing did all of my hair, plus again, I had, um, I was able to do a touch up with just a little bit. I didn't have a lot, it was just a little tiny bit. But this is one of those things that you don't have to um, use the whole thing right away. You can use a little bit and then use a little bit later, which is really, really nice. I really like this one. It's a mousse. It's really good. I really like it. It's a little bit expensive, but well worth it. And the color, can I tell you how much I love this color? The mahogany. My hair didn't come out like this, but good enough for me. So that is my empties. I hope you were a little bit uh, educated on my reviews. And that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you again in another video.